Well, hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. So tonight, I've come out for a wee wander. So my last photography video, I used one lens. So tonight I'm going to look for one subject. I don't know if I'm going to find them, but we'll have a long walk round the river to see if we can find them. I know there's an old clump of dead trees. So I'm hoping that they'll be growing on it. So tonight, join me as I try and find some mushrooms or toadstools. Let's see how we get on and let's see where this journey takes us. So I've just stopped as I'm walking along just because it's actually beautiful. That's the River Nake. Um, this is a, a kind of dog walking path. But where I'm trying to go is into those woods um, just to see if I can find some mushrooms, I hope so, because I promised myself that's the one thing and the one subject I would photograph tonight. Um, so yeah, I'll turn the camera around. So yeah, let's keep going. What I'll do is I'll just keep walking till I get there and then I'll catch back with you if I can find anything. Well, I'm nearly there and hopefully the light's not going to beat me too much because the lights are getting darker Re the nights are getting darker really really fast now and um, we'll just turn the camera around because over there there used to be a forest and I've cut the forest down but I managed one morning to capture a photograph of that forest with one single cloud over it. So if I can find it, <laughs> I'll share it with you. Sorry, I've got a bit of a, a cold. I've been struggling with a cold for a couple of weeks and just can't shake it. So, right, I'll keep walking and I'll catch back when we get there. Oh, the autumn's fairly kicking in. All the, the plants are starting to turn brown and they're starting to lose their flowers and their heads. Right, we're nearly there. There's the cluster of trees. And there was one particular dead tree that I was looking for where a few years ago I was walking and I saw a cluster of mushrooms. So I brought the macro lens with me as well if I remember right they were tiny so here's hoping here's hoping we can find some so we're finally in the trees let's have a wee scout and see what we can find there's quite a lot of fallen trees here nice wee photo op there however I have to resist at the moment another nice wee photo op here with those leaves being backlit by the sun. There's a big fallen tree. And oh boy, oh look at all those mushrooms on this broke tree. Awesome. Oh wow. Right. Look at the way the sun's hitting them as well. Right, I'll quickly get set up. I brought uh, lights with me as well, just in case it was dark. I'm just gonna have a wee wander down to this big tree trunk just to see if there are any there um, no can't see any this must be the the moisture capture area right I'll get the camera set up and we'll make sure we've got the light behind us and let's see how we can get some of these images all right so they're all all the mushrooms seem to be concentrated around this big log here. 
So I've popped on my macro lens and what I'm doing is I'm just doing some quick um, distance shots using the macro lens so I'm 125th of a second shutter speed f2.8 because I want to get that depth of field with everything blown out in the background and I'm using ISO 100 I'm also using the light for the sun I brought to, uh, little torches and an LED panel just in case wherever I found any that would be a really really dark area but there's a bit of cluster here the only thing is they're not they're not all the prettiest um, However, it's uh, great practice and uh, I'm not going to miss this opportunity, that's for sure. The key thing here is getting the composition right so that we've got something that's, uh, that I can either crop or I could get a nice square crop for that composition. Right, so if I turn the camera around, oh, I'm getting a cracking glow for the sun so the way i've stacked this i've got and because i'm using f2.8 all those clustery mushrooms at the front are all getting out of focus so if i film with this camera and if i show you the composition that i've got with the mushrooms at the top there in focus if i press the bottom of the camera then the bottom cluster of mushrooms are going focus. So what I'll do is I'll take different sets of images here with the top cluster, the bottom cluster in portrait level because it's actually quite nice. It's nice because we've got those two sections, one out of focus section, one in focus section. Because if we didn't have that, it would be really, really busy and it wouldn't be quite as nice an image. That could be quite a nice image. Right, there's a wee cluster of mushrooms over there. Those tiny wee mushrooms are there. I'm kind of waiting till the light goes down because what I'd like to do is use the LED panel and uh, lighten that wee mushroom out up to see if I can get a wee bit closer and if I can I can single two or three out but what I'll do is I'll turn around and I'll see if I can get different compositions round about these mushrooms. Right, so there's a wee tiny miniature mushroom here at the end and what I'll do is I'll just focus in on that mushroom using this camera. I'll just drop the exposure a little bit so you can see. Right, and then what you can start to see is I've got the LED panel here and I've set it to the warm tone and if I, whilst I was losing focus here so far get that in focus, switch it to manual so we don't lose it and if I share with you what I'm doing so the closer I put the light panel and you'll see it in the image now but the closer I do that the warmer that gets so even although it's getting backlit by the sun it then allows me to get this shot and the good thing is I can get the shot without the uh, light panel actually being in focus so that could be I'm just going to check because what I want to make sure is it's sharp oh wow right oh that's really nice right let me have a wee there's two more there and I'll see if I can use the combination of the backlit sun and the light panel just to see if I can get those two mushrooms so I'll get set up and we'll turn the camera back on Right, so before I get those two, because those are going to be pretty difficult and I'll need to try and figure out how to extend the tripod to reach it. I've got a little mushroom here, a wee bit backlit with the sun. Right, so I'm just moving the light backwards and forwards just to see the difference the light makes. And when you see this, you can see the change that the light makes, even though I'm getting a little backlit from the sun. So what I'll do is I'll take two or three different shots here and what i'm really testing is the effect of the light so when if those turn out i will share those images with you now because i'm
Right, so there's a wee cluster of mushrooms here. So if I film this and if I show you something's happened here, I must have nudged it. Right, so if I zoom in in that area, I can then adjust the lighting and you can see the effect it makes and then the shadows and it also throws that out of focus so if I change it to manual focus it won't change but you can see again the difference the light is making round about these mushrooms right so if I switch that back and if I use the light and if I just just have the panel this wee bit of a distance now what I'll do is I'll tilt the panel underneath I might just increase the light the brightness and then that means I can go, oh, that's nice. Right, and I need this warm light because this is sunset. Well, it's hardly sunset when we've got all these clouds. Right, and what I want to do is get the top of that mushroom in focus. So if I switch it to manual, and then if I just move that light around. All oh, right, right, there's another cluster I've seen in front of me there. Right, so this cluster here, I've got a switch to manual and I'll let you see what I've got. So, I've got a brighter light. I can't be too bright because I want to make sure I maximise the use of the shadows and I get the contrast of the shadows and I get a nice blend with highlights. But if I rotate that around, you'll get to see the difference it actually makes. And if you go too close, you, hi you just burn it with highlights. But if you go underneath, you can then start to warm it up. So, let's switch to the camera mode. Focus. Right, that's really nice. So I've got a little cluster here to the left and I'm going to focus in on the top. Oh wow, I mean these are, because I'm using the 100mm lens, it's, and it is a macro lens though, and I'm still shooting at 2.8, I don't want all the crazy detail, and that's turning out to be really, really nice. Right, I'm going to figure out how to take a shot with these wee tiny mushrooms here just moving the dead leaves out the way and uh, let's see if we can get a wee composition Right, so there's the wee mushroom I'm after is down here um, but if I turn this camera on you'll be able to see what I'm looking at and I'm just not getting the underside of it Right, so I'm going to have to change I'll take a shot for reference and then that way you can see what I've taken um, I'll take another shot from the light source coming through this side It's just not what I want, I need to be lower So what I could do is use the 70 to 200 because I can't get the tripod configured well enough to get low to take a shot and then the 100 will be too far I'll try it first and then I might have to switch to the 70 to 200 Right, so I've managed to get the 100 mil in a position where I can see that mushroom but I'll just try to change I mean, this is obviously going to have to be cropped because this is 100 mil. I'm just wondering if I just keep moving the LED light around, what type of light effect can I get? And I'm just looking in the back of the camera and they do look quite nice. Wow, that's really nice. So I think I will. I'm just going to make sure I'm not... Right, I'm going to switch to the 70 to 200. I know it's not a macro lens, but I'll switch to the 70 to 200 and we'll see if we can get in a wee bit closer and a wee bit lower. Right, so I've got the 70 to 200 on. This is as close as I can get. I've put the light there by the side so I can see what I'm doing. And, wow, I have to say, that is absolutely stunning. 
Right, so what you can see here, you'll not even see my finger. Right, so what we've got is the two mushrooms and I've got them right in the middle of that cluster of mushrooms on two sides and that light is adding a really nice effect. Right, I'll switch back to camera mode because I just want to make sure I've got those two mushrooms sharp. Um, let me try, I'm just going to zoom in and have a wee look. Oh wow. Right, so I've just found a nice composition there when I zoomed out. I'm just trying to make sure I don't get the light in my composition. I'll take that shot. That's really, really nice. Right, so the other thing I've noticed while I'm taking this shot is that wee scraggly mushrooms that look really, really scruffy. Because it's dark behind me now, if I use that light, could actually be quite nice, but I need to get the camera down lower. So I'll get that set up and I'll share with you how I'm getting over there. Right, so I've got the wee mushrooms all lit up on top of that log and as you can see, I'll just switch that to manual while you can see the video, I'm getting a really nice dark background and that light's doing a cracking job of lighting them up. So if I just focus in, the only thing I've noticed is I've got the tree right behind it. So if I just move the camera around a wee bit, because I've got the tree sticking out of the head there, that's a better background. So, I'm not going to harp on about it, but again, just another example of kind of compositional background distractions and dare I say it, separation. Right, this could be quite a nice image actually. So I'm going to zoom in a wee bit further just to make it tighter and I'm focusing in on the centre centre mushroom. Right, I think I'm going to do a stack here because that could be a really nice shot if I do a focus stack. Just if I put my hand in front. And what I'll do is I'll take four or five images, I'll stack them together and we should have, should have, a pin sharp shot of all those raggedy mushrooms sitting on top of that log. And if I do, and if it works, I'll share that image with you just now. Right, so I've got those two wee mushrooms on a piece of stick there. So I'll put them back when I'm finished. But what I'm doing is I'm just putting the torch in just to see how nice that can be. And yep, that's really, really nice. Right, I'll just do one more shot. Just check the light. I'm just varying the positions where I've got the light. So I think I'm going to stop now because it's been great and uh, I've got some really nice shots. Hopefully these images turn out. I did say I was coming out to photograph one thing and luckily I found that one thing. So here's hoping they turn out. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do, because you know it's free. And if you press the bell notification, that'll let you know the next time I post a video. So thanks very much for watching and here's to the next video.